Hey guys and gals, Vlad here with AVT Astro and today I wanted to make a quick video on how to update the firmware on your Celestron hand controller. I recently got the uh, Celestron uh, StarSense Auto Line, so I'm looking forward to using that, but for, in order for me to use that, I need to update my firmware on the hand controller. Alrighty guys, so the hand controller that I'm working on does have the newer USB plug, so you will need a USB cable. I don't think Celestron includes one with the scope, but anyway, you plug that sucker in just like that. And then, you know, obviously you're gonna need a laptop uh, to download the software. So guys, the trick with the software is that it requires Java to run. So I'm gonna have links uh, in the video description. First, you're gonna wanna install Java, and then you're gonna wanna install the Celestron firmware update software. All right guys, so the first step to uh, get this to get, to get into the bootloader is you need to press the menu button and the Celestron button at the same time before you turn the hand controller on. So, Pressing those both down, bootloader is loaded, so we're good to go. And now you plug in the uh, USB cord. So we got that plugged in. Um, and at this point is when you start the um, firmware update software, basically. So let me uh, go ahead and get that started here. Um, okay. So basically, when you download the uh, Celestron firmware software, you're going to be opening this file right here that's called cfm.jar. Again, it will not do anything unless you have Java installed, so you need to install Java first. So anyway, you open up that Celestron firmware update manager, and then let's see what happens. All right, so it looks like it's discovering the scope. Uh, this software is kind of cool. This is my first time doing this. It will uh, you know, figure out what type of scope you have you know, automatically. Um, and then if there are updates available, it should let you update it. Okay, so at this point, guys, uh, what you want to do is hit the update button right here. And then it'll start to basically download everything and update it for you automatically. Alrighty guys, look at that success story. Looks like all our software is up to date. Uh, so we are good to go. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything like that, I'll leave them in the thing below. If you're not subscribed, please do consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.